In which did I, video did I hear that uh, Baccarat Rouge smell like old money? Well, <laughs> if you really want to smell like wealthy old money, this is one video for you. We're going to talk about Atkinson, a very British and aristocratic brand. Let's go. Atkinson is a brand from London, a very old old brand i would say i would put it aside a brand like floris for example it's really that vibe it's gentleman very classic a bit vintage and it's not there to joke around so the brand was uh, created by james hatkinson that actually recently had a fragrance uh, launch that is called james it was actually back in the day very popular they had a shop at 44 Gerrard street in soho london and it was really the place to get your fragrance amongst dukes debutants aristocracy so you know if you had a wealthy background you wanted to smell uh, atkinson obviously really a must-have after that like the brand exported themselves really well because uh, it's not only aristocrat from Britain that wanted to smell uh, Atkinson but also uh, people from all over the globe like the Tsarina of Russia or Napoleon for us in France. In 1826 King George IV declared Atkinson as the official perfumer to the royal court of England uh, so not a lot of brands had this uh, distinction I guess in the collection of the fragrance that you have some choice you have the O collection so uh, you have really that the signature collection like a lot of freshies a lot of uh, scent that you can have as a signature that are not too crazy uh, wearable and easy to wear and you have the oud collection that I have in a coffret I need to show you that it's so cute really the target of the brand I would say for me is definitely for a mature audience I don't see someone quite young wearing Atkinson. It's all money, wealthy vibe, classic. It's very serious. Like when I smell Atkinson, I don't want to joke around. You know, there's some brand like we talked about that is very fun and happy to wear. This is not about that. You know, Atkinson for me is very serious. It's very elegant, very timeless. That's it. A lot of them does amazing office fragrances for the serious, charismatic sometimes character. So uh, I'm going to give you my top five favorite. Some fragrance that I didn't include in the top, but I think you should definitely smell. If you smell some Atkinson, please try the Odd Fellow Bouquet. This is for the people that love, for example, Tobacco Vanille from Tom Ford. Uh, it's mostly like a tobacco scent that is slightly resinous. Uh, I do think it's a really great scent, so I encourage you to try this. Amber Empire as well, if you like ambery scent. Uh, this is a ambery scent that have a vanilla uh, top nose. So really like uh, you can really smell that vanilla in there. But also they do amazing green freshes. And this is somewhat something that makes me think of uh, Penaligons, for example. You know, like Pen Penaligons, they do a lot of freshes as well amongst their very heavy scents. So for example, mint and tonic, uh, that smell a bit like a gin tonic, like the perfect attire for a gentleman. I'd say like for me, the gentleman has to have a vestiaire that is nice cologne for the day, nice freshies. And actually that's the, that's how Atkinson started the journey. They started by a fresh eau de cologne, you know. I'm, I'm saying gentleman, but it's the same for women. Like if you want like something ultra chic, ultra uh, elegant, this is, this is a good way to have like a nice eau de cologne and something a bit heavy for the evening or for daytime, but you know, like uh, to, to have a, a vestiaire, a fragrance for different occasions. So you have mint and tonic, posh in the green, lavender on the rug, that is an amazing fresh lavender that I really love. Uh, so these are great fragrances, I would say, for fresher aspect. Um, in my top five, uh, surprisingly and not surprisingly, it's mainly like a warm scent. So I think it's perfect for fall and winter. So it's a good season for me to talk about this. Ah, delivery arrive. I think we have some McDonald's arriving. Oh, that's really bad, Kevin. It's really bad. And I'm talking about elegance. I'm talking about elegance. <laughs> anyway, I need to film that quickly because I'm starving. Uh 
In number five of fragrance to try, I highly encourage you to smell 24 Old Bond Street. I chose this one because if you're going to a skin stop for the first time, you cannot leave the store without having smelling that. Because that for me smells exactly like the signature of the brand. It represents the brand perfectly to me. It's Johnny Pears, whiskey, rose, tea, cardamom, but really you can smell the whiskey is there, but for me it's more like a white whiskey, it's not like a super heavy whiskey. It does have uh, some depth, you know, which is amazing. But uh, overall for me it's very crisp, very green, actually less green but more piney, you know, with Jennifer berries. It's a bit soapy. Um, it's an amazing fragrance for office or for something casual. All in seriousness, it's not fun, you know, despite it being like bubbly and uh, uh, soapy, it's not bubbly character, you know. Um, this is really something that I would wear every day, every year, more masculine, definitely. Uh, I, I, you know, like when you smell something like this, you, you directly smell of that old fashioned vintage uh, character. So yeah, I think it's an iconic fragrance and you should try it. I do love the addition of a bit of boozy note without being too much in the fragrance. For me, it's ultimate class. Huh? My number four is Her Majesty the Queen. So it's a good time to show you this gift set. These are miniature scents. Uh, Excusez-moi, <laughs> look at it, it's going on, sorry, sorry, I said I, I'll be sophisticated today, uh, this is incredible, uh, look at this little bottle, uh, just to let you know though, uh, these are not spray, these are um, dab on. My number four is Her Majesty the Queen, like Her Majesty the Queen and you have Her Majesty the King, was not big a fan of Her Majesty the King. Uh, his majesty a king because it was a bit like very discreet slightly leverish um mm, uh, i prefer this her majesty the queen this is a hood i'm going to talk about all the collection of wood this is not the wood that you smell in hemirates or harabian wood proper wood really it, it's not it you know if you expect this don't go for the wood collection this is really a wood that is um European. They made it European or at least they made it British, which is a soft, dark, tenebrous, woody note, sometimes resinous, but it's not animalic. It's not something that it will, it will have that character, you know, when you smell the proper wood, that, that smell a uh, sticky animalic, you know, no. But if you like wood to be like a backbone and a dark character in the fragrance, you're gonna love this collection. And for me, in that aspect, I really like it. Anyway, you know, like nowadays in fragrance, nobody use uh, <laughs> natural wood, just to let you know, it's very rare. So um, usually it's more like a backbone and, you know, especially in uh, Western culture. Eastern, no, but, uh, Anyway, it depends what you like. I love this. This is actually something that is ultra wearable. You smell a lot the rose and the saffron, so nearly caramelized note in there because of saffron. And overall, it smells super fruity. You have some woody note as well that you can clearly smell, which is the wood. A bit of leather as well, but not too intense. You know, it's very wearable. The domination in here is fruity notes lots of fruity notes and I can't even tell what kind of fruity note. you know like a marmalade of fruit it's like very feminine and very sexy it's very serious but at the same time gives something mysterious sexy I really like that but it's easy it's easy you know if you smell like a rose saffron uh, note this is easy but I like the addition of fruit well, top three is wood save the king alors hmm. First of all, I love that name. Can I just say this name is really nice? <laughs> Obviously, it's so British, but um, and the scent is very British. Mm. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. You know what? He actually made me think of uh, the new KLE, actually, but not as uh, fun and light. This is more heavy, you know. It smells gentleman. It smells a bit old-fashioned when you smell it like this, and it's very serious again. But how gorgeous. Earl Grey tea, wood and oris. Oris give something more powdery. A sweet note, so cashmere and leather with gourmand. It's so gourmand, but all in a very nicely balanced way. So for people that don't like sweet fragrance, for men, for example, but you do want to give that sexy aspect, it's amazing. These fragrances are very office friendly. You can wear that at office, but when you want something a bit warmer, you know, for fall and winter, it's a great scent. 
I would love people to talk more about this because this is pure elegance and sophistication, but with a twist, something a bit gourmand, you know, I love Number two is Oud Save the Queen. So same collection. And to be fair, they are quite similar in a way. Still have the T-notes, but you have jasmine and orange blossoms. So a lot of white flowers, Oud, but it's more like a bad bone. You can't really smell it. It's more like a, a dark undertone, dark woody sharp undertone, you know. You have a lot of cloves. Clove, you know, that smell nutty cinnamon like, that kind of spices, you know. It gives warmth, gourmand thing. It's cozy, it's soft, it's extremely round and smooth. That's it, you know. And you smell a lot of tonka bean in the dry down that is vanilla like, but a bit darker than a vanilla scent. This is gorgeous. I absolutely know. I get the orange blossom directly in my nose when it starts. And then some cozy tea notes. It's, oh my God, how luxurious it is. This is next level for me in great ingredients. It's so mysterious, so sensual. It's lingering, but gorgeous projection. And my number one, this is my love at first sight. The first time I smell it, I was just like this. I've put my nose like this. And I was like, oh, I love this, you know, in fragrance, especially on men. I think it's extremely sexy. This smells like rum, vanilla, cacao, and cashmere. And it smells quite powdery. It's a powdery kind of vanilla dry down. The rum, you know, it smells like the barrel of some pirate cave, you know, like I am loving it. And it smells delicious with the dry down, with the chocolate. No, this is a magnificent way to wear something a bit rounder and sweeter. Oh my God, how powerful it is. It lasts ages. It's a killer. It's a beast killer. And you know, like, I think you need to find good occasion to wear your killer mode, but you want to impress? This, this for me, it's like a top 10 sexiest men's fragrance. <laughs> this is so underrated. You need to smell this thing, honestly. I think especially for fall and winter when you have this kind of like old pirate smell. It doesn't smell old, huh? don't get me wrong. And the gourmand vibe make it super modern. But you know when you have that smell in fall and winter? Do you know like it's super qualitative. It's super qualitative. From ju just the opening I'm like yes. Yes, I'm signing up. And this is a bit different. I love it. I love it. And I would love to wear this myself. I think this would be gorgeous on me. <laughs> I don't want to buy excessive amount of fragrance, to be honest with you. I want to be like more, uh, you know, I don't want to buy a lot of fragrance and then finish by not really wearing them. Uh, I want to focus on fragrance that I think I'm going to wear a lot. And this is one of them, 100%. Beautiful. Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you to understand a bit more the vibe of Atkinson because really uh, the vibe is in those videos uh, dedicated for brand. I, I don't want to talk about everything. I want to give you maybe uh, you will watch that video and be like, oh, this is for me or oh, this is not really my style. So guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Big thank you to the latest super thanks, guys. You're supporting directly the channel, especially nowadays when I do uh, have incorporating a long format in my channel. Uh, <laughs> I have to say, it, it, it pushes down my uh, revenue at the end of the month because um, my long format is not as watched, but I really enjoy doing it, so I don't want to stop. So people that are doing super thanks, you supporting directly the channel. So it's extremely appreciated, guys. So I wish you a lovely day. I hope to see you soon and bye now. Dans mon paradis bleu